Right guys, what's going on? It is September 26th and it is 12.30 p.m. I'm on a break from work and I have decided to fight a fear of mine, which is to actually come on camera today. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. My name is Radio Francis Riley. I would like my channel to be about a bit of everything, but at the moment I'm focusing on weight loss because it's the one of the biggest things in my life at the moment. If you are a returning subscriber, or viewer, nice to see you again. I need some help. So I haven't posted in the last 20 days because I've been feeling very low in confidence. I've had like some low mood, shall we say, a little bit of anxiety, and um, I'm ready to fight back. So the reason why I've been feeling this way is because the last time I posted 20 days ago, I had lost a good amount of weight. I was happy, I was at 212 pounds, my highest has been around 230 pounds and I was down to 212 and I was feeling very positive and since then I've lost nothing. In the last 20 days I have lost nothing. I haven't put any weight on but I wasn't looking at that as a positive. I was still looking at it as a negative. The fact that 20 days had gone by. My mic isn't even on. I mean come on. The fact that 20 days had gone by and I hadn't lost anything, I felt like a failure. I'm being honest, I don't think like this anymore. Somebody had invaded my brain. I don't feel like this anymore, but I felt like a failure. I felt negative. I just felt like S-H-I-T, right? <sighs> Today, I realized that I wasn't behaving like I would normally behave and I wanted to literally come back onto the camera because I've been, not scared, scared isn't the word, I, I fear no one. I wasn't scared, but I was just really like, not feeling myself and feeling like, you know when you feel deflated, like, I can't, am I ever going to get this done? So, I had to sit down and really think about things and realize that it's actually a positive. No, I haven't lost any weight, but I didn't put any on. And if you know, you know, in the past, Okay, so let me tell you why, what, what's been going on. So it's been the summertime. I've been going out to breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner. It's my son's 21st. We had a big old shindig. It was all going on. And I was like, yeah, of course I'll come. Social, Radia, social, social. And I was going out to eat and doing all this stuff. Now, after I would do whatever I've done, eat, drink, I would say, right, I'm, I'm mindfully, I'm, I'm getting up and I'm going for a walk. In my job, I literally, at lunchtime, I'm not doing it today because I want to talk to you guys, but I'm getting up and I'm going for 40 minutes walk. That's new for me. That's why I haven't put any, sorry, that's why I haven't lost any weight. Sorry, <laughs> that's why I haven't put any weight on. That's why I've maintained because even though I've been really doing this and that, I've been thinking, right, so now I need to move. So now I need to move. Where in the past, I'd be doing all that summer, eating out barbecues, donuts, 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 alcohol, and then I still wouldn't get up and move. And so I was putting weight on. And so on reflection, I can see it's actually a positive that I haven't put any weight on. But I wasn't seeing that before. I was just seeing that the fact that I hadn't lost anything as a negative. So my confidence went like that. And my anxiety went like that. And my mood went like that. But now I'm back. I am no longer have been like invaded. And um, I'm feeling confident again. And now I've got a little patch on my back, which I believe is a psoriasis flare up. It's better. It's doing better. And I don't think that, that was food related because despite everything I've just said, I haven't been eating much junk. I think that that rash is stress related because I've been stressing out and I promised I wouldn't do this, but it's easier said than done. But I'm no longer gonna be so much more kinder to myself. Even though I've just set myself a challenge on TikTok to lose 50 pounds in 50 days. I'm still gonna be kind to myself guys. That wasn't me trying to rush my weight loss. That is me trying to set a goal because I feel like it's what I needed to do. So I know I have had comments in the past, like you shouldn't set a goal. You should just lose the weight and, and, and all this stuff. Everybody's going to have a different way of doing things. Although I am being kinder to myself, I'm definitely that person that needs a goal guys. I need something I'm working towards. So even if I don't lose 50 pounds in 50 days, at least let's say I lose 20 pounds in 50 days, because I was aiming for 50, I lost 20. 
Do you know what I mean? So I won't beat myself up if I don't lose 50 pounds in 50 days, but I just need something to work towards. I'm sure you understand. Now, I have been posting on TikTok, mainly just like oh, a day in the life, just because it's been fun. It's been like a hobby. But I have also been posting little videos about fasting on there. So if, it's, if I'm not due to post on YouTube, then you can always find me over on TikTok and the link to that is in the description box. What's the plan going forward? So, as far as I'm aware, I don't have any major social plans between now and the end of October. And I wanna use that time to really focus. I wanna focus. It doesn't necessarily have to be prolonged fasts, like five day fast. I have no intention of doing a five day fast, guys. However, my favorite fasting schedule is three day fast. The reason being, when I do a three day fast, okay, so five day fast, it takes me past like all that hunger and I can I, I obviously will get more results with weight loss. But with a three day fast, it's more mentally manageable for me. I feel sharper mentally. I lose weight. My skin does what I want it to do. So that's my go to. However, it can be a little bit stressful if I'm really hungry, obviously, because it's fasting. But I want to be focusing on two day fast and three day fast throughout the next month, right? Well, I've got some notes here. That's it. <laughs> I just want to focus on um, like exercising more. I haven't been to the gym as much, no real reason. I've just really been enjoying walking, but I do want to do some toning and stuff, some weights. So a mixture of walking and the weights in the gym, fasting and just feeding my mind with positive things apart from my hour before bed on TikTok. It's not always positive, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm just going on a bit now. Guys, so I just wanted to come on and update you. I wasn't feeling my best, but I'm feeling better now. I hope you are all reaching your goals. And um, I'm gonna leave you with a fun fact. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry, the phone keeps cutting out. I'm gonna have to get a new one. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you for watching. Fun fact, I'm now a new grandmother. I was really shocked at first, but I shouldn't be too shocked because I was a teenage parent. So I guess it was likely I was going to be a youngish kind of grandmother. I turned 39 this year, this year guys. But I just wanted to uh, come back on and say thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video before it puts out again. Take care.